the first order of business is to repeal and replace Obamacare. And that was our message today, and it will be our message on Capitol Hill. And it needs to be done. Others are visiting the Capitol today talking about defending the failed policies of the past. We are here today uh, speaking to Republican majorities in the House and Senate to advance policies that will make America great again and have a more prosperous future for all the people of this nation. That was the first order of business right out from the Republicans, first out of the blocks for this morning. Then we heard from the Democrats, uh, Senator Schumer and Leader Pelosi. They, of course, oppose the end of Obamacare or the repeal thereof. Dr. Siegel is with me, and I'm going to raise an important issue here, and I think you've got an answer to this question. There are a lot of people who are very worried they have a pre-existing condition. Under Obamacare, they were allowed to get health insurance. They're very worried that if Obamacare is repealed, and it will be, that that pre-existing coverage, pre-existing condition coverage, will go away. What says Doc Siegel? I have a message for my patients with diabetes and heart disease and emphysema. Here's my message. Under Obamacare, you're getting a policy on the exchange that isn't paying for all the medicines that I want. It isn't getting you the specialist you need for your diabetes. But we're going to create high-risk pools. Those high-risk pools are going to be subsidized by the government, and that's where subsidies belong. And I predict you're going to end up with comprehensive policies that will cover the medicines you need, will cover the specialists I want to refer you to, more choice, and probably the premiums okay. are going to be lower. Okay, so They're wasting $42 billion on subsidizing everyone. Let's subsidize the high-risk pools. Okay. So your plan, and I believe that your plan is reflected in some of the plans that the Republicans are now talking about, Absolutely. would be you create high-risk pools for those people who do have a pre-existing condition, like diabetes. Those people go into the high-risk pools. Those pools are subsidized by the government, and that's how you work out this problem. That's it? And that's, yes, and that's absolutely what Paul Ryan is saying. That's what President-elect Trump is saying. You know what? That's where you need comprehensive insurance. You don't need that for some 35-year-old that's completely healthy, that's paying $350 a month and the government's given 250 yeah. of that. That's a ridiculous yeah. waste of money. Get rid of some of the regulations. Well, get rid of the mandate. Get rid of the mandate completely and get that, rid of the exchanges. That's get rid of the, the key mandate. to it all. But wait a minute. Absolutely. The mandate Absolutely. is the key to it all. The mandate says you've got to be covered for this, this, and this, and you, all of you, have to be covered. You take that away, and you've really changed the system. 20 seconds. And then the government can be charitable and create places for people to go with pre-existing conditions. And we're not necessarily talking about people that are harming themselves. We're talking about people, you know, like alcohol, alcohol abuse. Yep. I mean, those people need care too, for sure. But we're talking about people with diabetes, chronic lung disease, chronic heart disease, cancer. They yes. are not going to fall on, by the wayside. And again, Trump has said no one who currently has insurance is going to lose their insurance. And yeah. the big hoax here, by the way, is that most of Obamacare is Medicaid expansion. That's 12 million people out of 20 million. They're going to keep that. We're going to keep Medicaid expansion. Doc Siegel, thanks so much for applying your expertise. We appreciate it. Right. There, very important. 